There are some brilliant brands coming out of this e-commerce revolution. And in today's video, I want to share one of my favorite ones so far. It's a very simple idea. So it's not like the most revolutionary thing in the world, but at the same time, it kind of is. So let's go over how this brand went from zero to $4.8 million in funding for this simple idea. Now the store I'm talking about is called Muddy Bites. And I'm sure some of you guys have probably already heard of this brand. First of all, it's an absolutely genius idea. So what they sell is the bottom of an ice cream cone so if you've ever eaten these types of ice cream cones you know that the best part of it is the bottom like that last bite is just so good it hits different and they recognize that and we're like you know what why don't we just sell a snack pack that only sells the bottom of the cones now what's cool is how they were able to create a recognizable brand around this idea and figured out an aesthetic that's really playful and goes perfectly with the idea so take a look at this landing page it's beautifully designed and of course they're geniuses so they introduced a subscription model as well now what's also interesting is that online the minimum you can buy is five bags so that way they're able to get a higher average order value and i'm sure a lot of people would probably add more than that in fact when you add more to the cart it actually doubles the order so it doesn't go from five to six bags. It goes from five bags to 10 bags to 15 bags. These are very small details that definitely helps them get a higher average order value. Now, why I love this product though, is because even though it's a one product store, they can nurture their community and make recurring income. Now they're obviously using Shopify plus at this point, you can see it in their checkout. It's definitely a Shopify checkout, but it's very customized. Now, as you can see, their product description is so simple, which I love. Like there's really not much to say about it. And they're really just letting the customers do the talking here. This is a really clever review app, by the way. I think it's called Okendo Reviews, and it allows you to also feature questions as well as reviews. So super clean idea. And then they also have an FAQ at the bottom as well. Now, obviously a great product is the foundation of a business, but what's next is great marketing. So let's break down their marketing. Now, before we do that though, I do want to share with you one of the best apps that you can use to actually nurture a relationship with your customer. And first of all, recover a lot of lost sales, but second of all, retain a lot of customers and increase your customer return rate. Now, the app that I'm talking about is called text cart. Now this was created by one of my friends and I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how they've developed the app. Their dashboard is super simple and intuitive. They definitely got a good eye for design. And what you can do that's really powerful is send out campaigns through SMS. So a lot of people for some reason are still sleeping on SMS marketing, even though it's much more effective than email, especially for brands like this that probably get a lot of younger demographics interested in their products. Now, the reason why this app is so powerful is because you can actually manage the conversations that are going on through text with your customers. So as you can see, for example, here on the conversations tab, we can see that some of these are awaiting a response. Some of them have already ordered some of them viewed their cart. So honestly, it's one of the most robust SMS apps out there. And, and what's really cool is that you can get started for free. They have a free plan available that you can check out and incredible customer support as well. I'm, I'm very much a fan of this app. And if you don't have it on your store yet, you should definitely give it a try with the link in the description. I'll link you directly to the app store so that you can try it out today. Now, not too surprisingly, they're actually doing a lot of meme type of marketing. So they know that their demographic is younger. So for example, they're really capitalizing on meme trends and stuff, but they are also really capitalizing on the virality of reels. So this is one of the best strategies that you can utilize when it comes to organic is just posting a shit ton of real content in TikToks. You can actually recycle the two. They're going really hard on TikTok. In fact, on TikTok, they have double the following that they have on Instagram. My guess is that's because because they're running a lot of TikTok ads as well. So if you don't know, TikTok ads, when you run TikTok ads, it also increases your follower count. So it's a pretty great strategy for paid marketing. But of course, they're not missing out on meta ads either. They got over 130 different ad results when it comes to their meta ads. That's a pretty crazy amount of ads. I mean, a lot of you guys are testing like one creative. These guys over here that are reaching new levels in their business are testing like 130 different ads currently. Obviously, they have money to do that. Not everybody has money to do that. And you got to start somewhere but that's where if you mix the organic strategy with the page strategy you can get a really powerful combination and as you can see a lot of their ads are actually instagram story ads the reason why they're doing that is because that's one of the best placements right now for meta because it not only goes on instagram stories but also on instagram reels so super powerful stuff i really just wanted to share this brand with you because it's such a brilliant one product store idea that's just extremely simple but still revolutionary in a way like i said at the beginning but that's all i got for today again make sure you check out text card. I'll leave the Shopify app store link in the description so you can check it out right now. And that's all I got for today. See you guys in my next video. Peace.